just like shot um but yes today is Monday the 25th um I didn't have a whole lot of work to do today like outside of prepping for tomorrow because tomorrow is shoot day and this is gonna be the first shoot I've done alone in a while so I want to be as prepared as I can be because I actually don't have any help tomorrow which I'm not happy to say because Justine got her a real job, so we're proud. We're happy for her. We're very happy for Justine, and she's very happy where she is, so I'm happy for her until I hire her myself. Today is just kind of like, kind of chill. It's been kind of slow earlier today. I actually want to get some stuff done in the closet um, because I have to like get about four to five outfits for tomorrow. So I want to see, I want to get some of this stuff out of the closet. I haven't worked on the closet much since um the last video and the next video after that was supposed to be a part two but as you see that did not happen so we're just gonna go as we go okay it's just we're just gonna attack it as we can get to it <laughs> yeah so i just got finished um putting on a load so right now as you guys know since the last time we talked about the closet i wanted to get a lot of the stuff washed everything washed and then as i'm going through it to like fold and put up i figure out like what I want to keep and then what I need to donate or and then allow my mom to go through first and then donate. Um, so like I said, I'm not selling anything on Poshmark um, or anything like that because I just don't have the extra time to sort through all of that stuff and then get um, them on Poshmark and take pictures and, and then ship them out. I just don't have the extra time for that right now. So I'm just going to donate them so someone can have them um, and enjoy them more than I've been doing I'm like trying to get the laundry room cleared out that way but as I go like I'm not in a rush to get it done honestly um but yeah today just been pretty chill I'm actually getting started on setting up my clothes pretty late it is 4 17 and I wanted to be done working and doing everything by 5 30 so I could just enjoy the evenings again so I'm trying to get back into that habit of like having downtime and they always say you own your own business you're always working well I do want to clock out at some point like I don't want to be working all the time and I love what I do I just want to have a cutoff so I'm trying to get to training myself to have a cutoff get stuff done at a decent time but I was tired today I didn't go to bed at a decent time like I need to start taking my black behind the bed on time like no later than 10 30 10 to be exact no later than 10 <laughs> um we just gonna work at 10 30 see how they work and then we gonna push it up if we need to <laughs> but because i've been going to bed at like 12 after 12 like last night i went to my mom's of course y'all know i go to my mom's house on the weekend so i went to her house and um stayed there until about 12 20 something headed back home and then i didn't go to bed i didn't like fall asleep till almost one and then have to get up but you know to start being productive the next day this that's not helpful so i need to have a cutoff i need to leave my mom's house at a certain time or at least go to her house earlier in the day so i can leave and kind of have some downtime at home and then be able to shut down on time so i don't know we're gonna we're gonna get our lives together it's what we're gonna do but <laughs> uh not too long ago earlier today i finished i said not too long ago earlier today get it together <laughs> earlier today i actually um watched the first episode of the last season of insecure y'all and i'm just so sad 
<laughs> I feel so abandoned. Why are they leaving me? Like, I love Insecure. So, while I... Oh my gosh, I'm just happy Molly and uh, Issa kind of got it together a little bit. So, while I'm doing these clothes or whatever, I'm going to um, listen to the podcast. I've been listening to their um, uh, Fran and Crystal's like recap podcast, I think since the second season. Um, and then they, they finally got looped into Insecure as it being an official podcast. So that's exciting. Um, so I'm going to listen to that recap. If you're not, if you're not aware, here is the, uh, but yeah, it's called the Insecure T podcast. It's on, I'm listening to it on Apple podcast. I'm going to have that going in the background while I get close together. So just now. Um, I put some clothes in the washing machines, put some white in the washing machine. Um, I actually got like a laundry and a half, like a load and a half done of one basket. Because remember I needed to get the baskets clear so I could actually start using baskets again. I, I'm going to talk right. I got the, but one of the baskets like is actually the clothes are clean and I'm going to go through it now. Put some, hang some up that I want to put up. And that I want to keep and then the other like put them in the trash bag or something like that to kind of sit to the side for people to go through them and then I may invite my mom first of course because she always wants first dibs she literally says if I'm not invited first why are you here but she didn't say that <laughs> yeah I put them in the trash bag so that my mom can go through them first and I may invite a couple other people over to look through them and then after that truck is coming to get them for donations and then um, once I got all of those clothes together I'll do that but for now, I wanted to like do that to empty that basket. And then that white thing that I have in the, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but there's a white thing that I have in my closet that I tried to like fold clothes up and just sit them in there and um, like make that a whole kind of shelf thing. It didn't work out. I just didn't keep it nice. It wasn't cute. I didn't like it. So <laughs> I'm going to take all of whatever's in there out go through them see if i want them or keep them or and then or if not put them in a trash bag to donate them a lot of what's in there i think is going to be donated um which isn't which isn't much and then i'm gonna see if i'm strong enough strong enough to actually take it to the garage myself we'll see if i'm not strong enough i ain't gonna push it because what i'm not gonna do is stress myself out let's go ahead and get started because i don't want to be working too late um, I actually just want to be done with everything before the sun goes down so I can narrow up these legs because the hair has grown what? Expeditiously. <laughs> I need to narrow my legs so that they're nice and smooth for tomorrow. So my shoe is going to be with the mod. I'm always shooting with the mod. I think I still have a screenshot of what his Instagram account looks like here. Um, local Houston photographer. Very efficient. Very fast. Very good. So you try to get in and out. You know what I'm saying? And you want somebody that you trust. Pam, a mod. Let's go ahead and start working on these clothes and see what I do. I actually still need, uh, I have to go through a package from Eloquy and see if there's something in there that I'm going to shoot tomorrow. And then maybe steam it. I'm asking a lot for three hours. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> the sun sets around 7.15. It's 4.22. I've been talking too much. Okay, let's go. <laughs> just got finished doing all that I'm going to do with uh, the clothes so right now I'm selecting what I'm going to shoot in tomorrow this dress is from Eloquy it's a cute ooh, 
yeah very comfortable sweater dress it's like a checkered uh white and black dress as you can tell i got it paired with eloquiz boots from last season or from last year and they have some boots similar to this like i like having on nice point toe boots without the heel because they're just more comfortable like that just heel all the time is just not my steez i don't know what size i'm wearing i have to put it at the bottom i think it's 22 or 24 i can't tell or it's probably 22 24 but yeah this is the dress also beauty curve if you have more hips than i do i think i'll take a picture of um rochelle from beauty curve and how she looks in it if you're more hair and or hourglass shape um i'm more apple so this is how it looks on me and i don't have on the right foundation so this is how it looks but i'm going to shoot this tomorrow this is one of the outfits so let me get to trying on so i need to come up with four at least four outfits i want to try to come up with at least four maybe five um so that we can get a good shoot day in i want to try to do a shoot day maybe once a week so we'll see how that goes but for now this is what the first right, outfit this is the next outfit outfit <laughs> this is the next outfit um this is giving me literal houston texas i don't know if you guys some of you guys follow me on instagram but like last week i think it was i posted a picture of just some of the things you'll see in houston which is someone riding down the street with a horse on their horse <laughs> so um it was a ranger at a at a mall actually um but yeah i thought this was cute cute little fall outfit got these target boots on these are like ruched or bunched up i forgot what they're called boots they're wide width wide calf um, and they fit very comfortably. Like right now my foot is swollen and it fits good in this. So these are the boots. If you do not remember from the last boot haul that I did that you guys probably have seen by now, my calf width at the, at the widest point is 20 and a half inches. So that is a guide for you to go by when think like when you're seeing me in boots that this is how it fits on my leg. These jeans, as you can tell I'm hot. I don't know why it's so hot in here. It's like steamy. Oh, the dryer's on. Okay. <laughs> These jeans are A&A &A jeans from JCPenney. One of my favorite jeans because I love how it looks at the end. It has like a little frayedness at the end and kind of like a little like, um, it's frayed, but then it's like, I don't know how to explain it. A little distressed at the uh, bottom of the jeans. So I think that's cute and I love a good medium wash. So this... These jeans in a size 22 and this top that I've had so long, um, just a chambray top. You can get like a denim top anywhere, but I'll have these stuff linked below if you're ever interested in any of these items. But this, I think this is going to be outfit one because these boots, because they don't zip all the way at the top. They like have the zipper that opens up so that you can get your foot in and then you like pull the top up. So I don't want to be fooling with that in the car so i'm gonna do this outfit first and then do one of the other outfits second third fourth um so yeah this is my texas feet honey oh my gosh this makes me think of the rodeo i've been wanting to go to the rodeo before i got a chance to go go and just like really enjoy and just have my time the vid girl anyways let me let me let me come up with the next so y'all for this outfit first of all it is so dark i'm so sorry it's so dark because I just don't have lighting here. Uh, but y'all, for this next outfit, I was really trying. <laughs> like, this is a new skirt from Eloquy. It's 30 bucks. It's a pleather. Um, like, it's not pleated, but I don't know what this is called at the bottom. I guess it's, no, it's not pleats. But um, I put it, like, kind of dressed it down with some, um, these Time and True Walmart tennis shoes. And this is an old sweater that I just kind of tied at the front. You can tuck it. Or I just like to keep the little knot out. It's an old sweater from Nordstrom Rack. And I mean, just a little playful something. I don't have a lot of casual stuff. Like more casual everyday something that you could just throw on real quick and be cute. Tight clothes on my timeline. So I want more of that because that's the whole purpose of kind of what I focus on. It's just plus size, um, affordable and casual type outfits. So I love the fact that these are $30. This skirt is 30 bucks because... You know, Eloquy can get a little bit more pricey. But the reason why I show them a lot is because they have very quality, true, plus size items. And they go on sale so often. Like, they always have a sale of something. 
dresses for 49 bucks or buy one get one 50 percent off something you know so here is the third outfit and i got one more outfit in me i already know what it is so thankfully um so let me put that on and show you guys what that okay y'all this is the next outfit this is a target uh sweater dress very soft this dress feels so good i don't remember how much it is y'all i think i got it in a 2x um and then i have on my walmart uh burgundy combat burgundy and black combat lug boots and then of course i have kate and then i found this belt in my closet so it's a pink a lighter pink belt it kind of goes so this is i i don't know if this is going to be the last outfit or if i'm gonna try to do one more dress look because they're so easy to just like kind of slip on i have a cardigan that i may want to show um may want to shoot so i may just add that to the bunch but this is a cute um comfortable casual outfit um that i may shoot tomorrow so i know i'm definitely gonna shoot this one so i'm gonna go ahead and hang it up and see if i want to add in one more look because i did tell Ahmad four to five looks so let me see if i want to add in another dress look because they're pretty easy to slip on and it'll, it'll go pretty quick so y'all this is going to be the last outfit i shoot i don't know how i'm gonna make this look like high fashion <laughs> I don't want to make it look like high fashion, but look like fashionable. It is. It's not ugly, but this is like literally a get. It's cold outside. Put some on. Put some on your shoes, but like cover your toes, and uh, like I mean, put some on your feet, cover your toes, and then you have this on like for winter, uh, for fall when it gets cold, cause it's still hot in Houston, y'all. But I'm a blogger, so we have to do this ahead of the season change, because people most likely won't start buying these things. Um, some people buy it in the last minute when it's already cold, so you gotta do it ahead of time. Um, this is from Walmart. You guys know I love, love this cardigan, so cute. And this is honestly, this is the most real outfit i've ever <laughs> shot i think i'm gonna shoot this one it this is a old where did i get this from medi dress they're everywhere but this one fits so good and i'm trying to remember where i got it from uh, but these are from torrid i don't know if they still have them hopefully they do um but these are wide with um uh, what are these called loafers from toward and then i'll just have like a little handbag a little black handbag which this is like give me oh i'm gonna go pick up the kids real quick like this is so cute hey, but it, it's it's comfortable and it's it's honestly probably the most realist outfit because who's not just gonna throw this on to be comfortable and kind of cute and you're just gonna go to something so yeah this is that um I, I don't have anyone going with me to the shoot this time so i won't have um like video footage for you guys to see the shoot so i'll just link all this stuff in the description um but by now i should have the actual outfit photos by the time i edit it hopefully i don't know we'll see and maybe i'll be able to add a picture in but if you don't see a picture then i didn't have it in time when editing this so you know hopefully you guys get to see it if not just follow me on instagram and you'll see it in due time so I'm going to go get me something to eat because I did not cook. Well, I did cook and I only have enough for one meal. But I know tomorrow is going to be my super busy day. And I don't have cook time to cook tonight. Um, and since tomorrow is going to be my super busy day, I want to save that meal for tomorrow so I can come home, just eat, and not have to cook anything um, in the midst of all the shooting and content creation I have to do. So, let's go to Chick-fil-A. I'm going to get me a silly and a chat with y'all later. That's a revelation begins to come to you, minister to you, and bless your mom. So where there's the favor, there's the flavor. I want to say, let me say it again. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor, my righteous cause. So it's righteous to have favor.
finished with my shower. Well, <laughs> I just got finished eating. Um, well, I didn't just get finished eating. I've been, I've, I've eaten like an hour ago. I'm actually going to go ahead and call it a night. I did want to bring you guys, um, tell you guys on here because I talked about it on my, the lighting is horrible over here. Let's get a little, let's get a little different angle. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about reading because I am going to finish reading the book that I'm reading now. Um, I'm going to wrap it up for the month, right? And so I did a poll on Instagram to see if anyone would be interested in like a virtual book club so I can do a bit more reading. I wanted to do um, like at least a book a month. I got a drawer full of books that I actually need to start reading. So, but there is a book that I wanted to read next month because i've heard so much good stuff about it by the time you guys watch this i think it's gonna be in november so if you want to like do this with me and anyone else that's joining me from instagram the book that i am going to um be reading in november is called crazy faith by My michael todd justine bean y'all know justine she has read the book she said she read it so fast because it was so good i've seen the ratings nothing but good ratings on it i'm excited about trying it out because or reading it because i've heard that it's been so good and i know he's talking about um believing in god and having crazier faith and just expecting so much more from um life than just this mundane needs to be met but um I'm excited. I want to read it because I want something more motivational to read. Um, the book that I'm reading now is more like a self-help book. It's about boundaries. I've been reading it forever because I've just been taking my time. But um, this light is just on this camera is doing whatever it wants to do. But yeah, I've been taking my time reading it. But um, I need to wrap it up. Like I'm in the last one or two chapters. I don't remember. I need to wrap that up this week. And then I've already ordered, oh no, I'm going to order Crazier Faith from Amazon. I'm going to have the book link in the description below if you guys want to join me. But yeah, I'm liking, like, I want to make sure that I'm actually having more of my day to myself. So after a certain time, cutting off work and then enjoying, like, just living. Like if I want to clean or or organize or read you know go out to my mom's house to go out to eat with a friend or whatever i have the time to do that so i'm learning to get back to that work-life balance it's gonna take a minute because i've been you know working 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 for five years um two jobs and not having that time to just be so um it's gonna take a little bit but we're gonna get there honey so yeah i want to be asleep by 10 30 it is just turned 10.06. So, oh y'all, I forgot to tell you. I paid myself for the first time October 15th. By the time you guys watch this, I would have paid myself a second time, which feels so weird because it's like, oh my God, I have a payroll account now. So it feels weird to say. It feels weird to like just transfer money over from, um, my business to my personal account and it's just you know but it is a blessing and i don't know i just want to tell you guys that it was it was like a kind of like a oh i literally just paid myself and it's it's kind of like i don't know i don't know how to explain it surreal i guess i would say i i just was you know it it just feels weird i don't know how to explain it girl it just feels weird to be like the business paid me to live you know and i actually am still paying my mortgage and it's on time because <laughs> i have my mortgage on auto drive i don't want to go because my bills now are on auto drive because i have a bad habit of forgetting to pay so i just have them on auto drive because i don't want that drama um and i'm trying to work on make sure the credit is right and all of that so let's keep these things going in on time you know after paying off all of that debt i want to make sure i'm good so, um, to have that stuff on auto draft and still have the money and I'm not getting a paycheck from someone is so weird, but God is good. Y'all, he is so good. So any who I'm going to be heading to the bed now so I can, 
um, get a decent night's sleep because I got to get up at 6.15 in the morning um, to do a little bit of devotional before. Uh, girl, what is it I'm doing tomorrow? I'll talk to y'all about this. What am I doing? Photo shoot. <laughs> Before my photo shoot tomorrow, I want to do a little bit of reading before that. So I'm going to go ahead and head to the busy. I'll talk to y'all in the morning. <laughs> Just got finished shooting. My face is a, like all the makeup is about gone. I sweated so much <laughs> cause I'm shooting, um, I'm shooting fall outfits in what is supposed to be fall, but it ain't because Houston don't have seasons. So I sweat like so much and I, um, like I can just stand up and sweat sometimes. It doesn't matter, working out means nothing. I was always like this, um, have always been like this for as long as I know. But um, had a good shoot with Ahmad, so that was well, it went by great. I think we got done at 10, it was 9.50, 9.50 actually, we got done at 9.50. Um, we started at 8.30ish, uh, cause I was running like a couple of minutes late. But um, yeah, I am at Market Street right now. Look at the shoot miss. That is shoot mess. So I'm at Loxitane, Lox, Loxi, Loxitane. I don't know how to pronounce it. They told me I haven't been there in so long, but I forgot. But I've used a sample of their um, serum. It's an overnight serum that they have that I love. It feels so luxurious and moisturizing and nourishing and just it feels so good and I tried it through a sample that I got at Sephora and I'm almost out of my serum now like this morning I put it on it was like trying to spit you know and it's like not fully stuff so I'm, out, I'm almost out of serum now so I'm gonna go get this serum and try it out uh, I need to ask them like sorry y'all the call is coming through I need to ask them like what is the difference between like why does it is it only to be used overnight because you know some products will have things in them where they it's it it did not damage your skin but being exposed to the sun can cause like over time like some spotting and it can cause some different things to your skin that you wouldn't want i'm um, gonna have a reaction a reaction to uh with the sun that you would not want on your skin but um i need to ask them if this has that otherwise then it doesn't need to just be used overnight i can actually use it in the day so i'm gonna ask them that um but yeah i haven't been in the store in forever lox loxitane 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 i'm not asking how to pronounce it again but i haven't been in the store in forever so i'm gonna go in there and see if they have this serum hopefully they do and what is annoying is i just got these nails done and it's they're lifting this morning when I was doing my hair. You know, you recognize when you're doing your hair that they like get underneath the hair, kind of gets caught underneath it. That's what happening. That's what's happening with these two. And I think the other two as well. So let me pay for this parking real quick and go about my business. I placed an order at um Cheesecake Factory because that's my place. That's just the place that I love to eat. Placed the order with them and it's not gonna be ready till 11.30. It's 10.30 now. So I'm gonna go in here and get this stuff. I may drive through my homes like that I absolutely love. I may show you guys. I feel like y'all may be tired of seeing them, um, but I may show and put it in here anyway. But um, drive through my home and uh, those, I said my home. Come on, speaking in existence, drive through my homes and then go pick up my order from uh, Cheesecake Factory. Um, it's a lot of people moving around, so sorry. I'm, I'm like squirrel. <laughs> okay, let me go.
was like, oh, <laughs> my God. But, but look at that. Yeah, yeah I was just looking at mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's so you would look much, much better. Oh, that's really good. Your hands look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but where is it? It is not. Oh, this is it? Oh. Same thing, yeah. Y'all, I treated myself up today. Lots of times, I meant to ask her what the, uh, like, how you pronounce it after that. Um, because it's been years since I went, and they told me then, and I don't remember. I want to say it's La So I used to call it La Ache. <laughs> it's like, it's not like a chemical. But this is the serum that I got. This is what I got a sample of the last time I came, and I tried it, um, like, a few months ago. And, oh, girl so good it is a little it's it's a little pricier than your typical serum it's like 50 something dollars i want to say 56 dollars um like which compared to the stuff i get at sephora it's right around the same you know but um like because the serum i get at sephora is like 40 something dollars i'll get some 50 but then i also found a youth hand cream and i tried it and it is so good it feels good my hands feel good with it on so yes this is the other thing i got so, and then they love they give like tons of samples for stuff like whenever you're going in there so i got like little samples in here she gave me some samples of eye cream and uh moisturizer and body oil so this day i think i'm gonna like hold on, go through the homes again my future home oh my god again because it's not far from here um so i think i'm gonna go through it again if you see it and you're like ashley you go through those all the time absolutely freaking lutely you know why because you speak things into existence you sow seeds and you reap what you sow you constantly look at things that give you motivation and if at any point you feel like oh my gosh i'm just i don't know why i'm doing this and i don't know why that Find something that gives you motivation and keep going back to that thing. Consistently talk to God. Thank him for the things that he's already done. Find your happiness in that and thank him for the things that are coming. So I constantly go to these homes because I'm I'm like attracted to these homes, right? I don't, I'm not going to like over spiritualize it, but it's something about this area that really attracts me. And I don't know if this is a place that I will probably eventually purchase property, if, like real estate. I do eventually want to get into real estate my mom has rubbed off on me um she loves real estate loves looking at home property and we used to go and look at stuff i didn't do it a whole lot with her uh, just us together but we should um which is surprising i didn't do a whole lot of going into the homes and looking at it with her for different reasons but um i have done that quite often and i'm very attracted to real estate so not only is this some place that i hope to live in the future but it's also like another place that you can look for investment property and so i like just i don't know i just it, expose yourself to outside of just your circle you know what i'm saying um i love my home i'm very proud of my home i'm very happy in my home like i'm not trying to get anything bigger than what i have now because i'm just trying to keep these little three bedrooms clean that i got today let's talk about that and i'm gonna i need to actually move forward and uh get a cleaning uh lady to help me out because this is for all of the birds um but yeah i'm eventually going to go ahead and um get a cleaning lady but I want to look at the homes again. So if this is a, if this is like a area where you look like Ashley, we look at these same homes all the time, then you can skip past this hundred. This ain't for you. But I'm going to go and look at the homes again, and I may insert some clips of them uh, before I go get my food because my food isn't ready until 11:30, and it is 10:57, and so I have some time to kill. I'm gonna look at the homes, park in a parking space, uh, the curbside parking space, Cheesecake Factory. Post on Instagram. 
and be busy. So there, there you go. <laughs> Watching um, Aaliyah's face, of course, because her vlogs slap. Is that what the young kids say? <laughs> okay, so I'm watching Aaliyah's face. I'm actually trying to wrap up. I've been working. So as y'all know, I had the photo shoot earlier today, and then I did six reels i was supposed to do seven but girl by the time i hit four i was out of there um and realized i had two extra reels that i did last week so i'm gonna let one of them things roll over so i did six um and what else oh and then i got off uh, i got done with that at like 4 20 4 30 
um and then needed to catch up on emails so i had a brand campaign that needed to go live today for walmart who's this girl listen i'm trying to stay I'm trying to stay caught up with y'all um actually i thought my i thought my um blue apron meal was gonna come today but it didn't um and i thought i was gonna be able to cook that with y'all on this vlog but because um my mom uh, reminded me last night that i'm taking her to an appointment tomorrow morning so i'm about to head over there so i don't have to wake up super early just to you know drive to her house i think i'm gonna spend the night over there and then uh and they got tacos and i'm gonna eat the tacos so there's that um so i'm gonna take this makeup off and then um go over there i'm gonna go over there and then girl why am i having such a hard time talking i'm so sorry yeah i'm gonna go over there and spend the night for her appointment it's at 7 30 in the morning so I'm gonna go over there and spend the night so we can do that. And then after her appointment is done, we get home and chill, whatever I finish working, I'm probably gonna head back here for prayer on Wednesday. And then we done with it. Um, so all of that to say, <laughs> this vlog is ending. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I, yeah, it's hopefully next week's vlog is a bit more um, eventful. I need to, I want to go shopping for to see if at home has like a chair or something that is better than the chair that I have in my room. Um, and just kind of look at what they have, see if there's anything I want to add to my spizzes. Cause Friday is what? Payday. Um, <laughs> um, so I'll have to like get stuff ready for that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Guys, definitely um, subscribe if you loved it. If you're ready to see the next one, I will see you on Saturday. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, y'all, and I will see you then. Bye.